that's off. Hey guys, it's Will here coming at you at the beginning of this video. Uh, parts you're going to see later on is going to be from my stream, so make sure to check that out. Links. We have the Wolverine tank from Rampant. So this is a model, and you might be able to see in the back there another model that we'll be reviewing later on. This is the Wolverine tank from Rampant. It is a armored personnel carrier. It's kind of like Reminds me of the Rogal Dorn meets a um, that Primaris transport tank. Uh, the reason I got it, it was it looked pretty cool and I thought it was res resin originally, but actually it's um, it's plastic. It's almost like that hard plastic that China f cast stuff uses for the new train for Games Workshop. Uh, this is made by a Polish company, and so far the quality of it I really like. My only issue I had with it was, besides being a little bit harder to cut off the uh, sprues and having to use files to clean it up and not just knives, is that there's no instruction manuals inside the box, you have to use online, and though I am, <coughs> I, I do agree and like the idea of going digital nowadays with paper product when you can, um, and the, the, the uh, I can speak, I swear. My teeth are at that final stage where they're completing the healing process, so my mouth is back to being learning where spaces are and how to speak again. Uh, bone growth in your jaws is a bitch. But anyways, um, the, the manuals that they have digitally looks really nice, and they flip like a digital manual would, so it's like that virtual experience. But the only problem with it in the future is if somebody has this in store and maybe the company goes under or something, or maybe they have a new range that they refresh and they need the space on their server, they'll delete the, just like with that church building I made on the one stream, you'll lose the instruction manuals and you have to go off pictures and videos like I'll have here to do it. But anyways, besides that, I was originally planning to use it as a, the Rhino from my uh, Sisters of Battle, you know, the guys who Oh, for you who played Sisters of Battle, you know the the Rhino I'm speaking of, the one with the flamethrower and the five-person transport, like the Forge World one. I was basically going to use this for that, or use it as the heavy walker for Conflict 47 for my Russians. But yeah, so we're going to go into the next part here. I'll flip this back over. Uh, the sides are basically just the, the top, but uh, it is a large, wide box. So I'm going to go and... We'll be in the next part here. We will see you in it where we're building and showing off the sprues. But yeah. Classic Warhammer style box. And nothing on the inside. Though this would make a good uh, little, you know, spray booth or photography booth. You can have a white bottom or black here to hide the base. And then. So I think I might save it for that or just for carrying models in. Sturdy box actually. And as you can see inside here, we have the sprues, which are a really nice quality here. And this is, of course, to Warhammer scale. So we have one. It's kind of like old Warhammer plastic meets new. It's like a mix of Warlord plastic. Like this sprue feels very much like Warlord plastic, but like this one here is like the plastic molds that they make terrain out of for uh, current Games Workshop products. But I got this for two reasons. One, it's, the turret hole is big enough to fit the old flame spawns and turrets on it. So I can use this as a uh, that Forge World transport that they used to make for the sisters, the flamethrower one that only had a compartment of five with a giant plow on the front. And the other reason I can use this is for is for um, and the door that opens and closes it is for bolt action, or more specifically conflict, as an armored transport. So it's multi-purpose. Of course, we got the stuff, and if you're familiar with guardsmen, this is supposed to be a guardsman vehicle. Um, sort of thing. I don't know what it would best represent in the game, but then we've got the inner seats and stuff, as you can see. So again, I might make this as some cool sort of like heavy armor transport, like for my heavy armor dudes. But definitely gonna be interesting to build up here. 
So, so it's gonna be interesting to build. I think we so might guys, start. With this has been the rampart. Um, I pulled the sprues out early, so this is like future me again uh, talking about this. If you guys want to see what the model looks like finally finished, we have this. So here's the vehicle itself. Large. It is pretty big. I'd say it is about the size of a Land Raider. It's maybe actually a little smaller than a Land Raider. About the size of a Rogal. It's it's pretty big. It's a 32, 132, you know, 32 mil heroic scale. The turret. It's that classic China, like, you know, plastic. It is basically... If you showed me this as a, um, a Games Workshop model from, like, five years ago... And like you replace the ramp apart, you're just like, hey, here's a new guardsman vehicle we want you to build and check out without any markings. I would think this is a Games Workshop model. Like honestly, it's sci-fi enough to fit in it. Like everyone does. Everyone, there's no hiding it. Companies are making things to sell to 40k because that's the most popular game out there. But it's also generic enough where there's not skulls all over and imperial guard markings and stuff. So it's generic. I can use it in other games in this turret. I could put onto walkers and use it as a big old 88. <clears throat> but the turret hole is big enough to put other uh, Games Workshop turrets on it. I don't have it fully glued because if, I, uh, if friction fits pretty well. But this interior is amazingly detailed. I will give them that. This was greatly detailed. Um. The only real issues I ran into building this is this whole floor area. It's not really clear how it lines up. Um, the the stuff here, the this stuff is too high and I'll bump into these chairs. It doesn't want to fit in. I do a lot of grinding and cutting and stuff here to get it to fit. And yeah, but besides that, I got it. I got it fixed. It will go together pretty well and I am excited to kind of get this thing painted up and glued maybe even magnetize it so the top can come off to see on the inside but as you can see it holds together without glue pretty well so and you'll you can fit your guardsmen captains and stuff popping out of here so I'm excited. I'm going to paint this up generically, I think. I'm going to paint up, like, my Russians. Maybe, um... Yeah, maybe. We'll see. I might paint it up like my sisters. But I think I'm going to paint it up like my Russians. But, we'll see. If not, anything, it's just a fun model I wanted to build. But I think I'll... Build it as my sisters, and then put the sister flame turret on here from, a from an emulator. And just run it as that special rhino and then have this painted as the russians and then it can uh i can use it on a, a walker or a, another tank right. you, i don't know you guys choose below should i paint this as the russian conflict model or should i paint this as a sisters of battle model but with that guys thank you for watching very much hope to see what you guys say down below would you guys be interested in picking up one of these models yourself and yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video, reviewing this one over here. Bye bye. Click the video. Click it. Click the video, you know you want to. Click it. Yeah.